because the glass had shattered um, because what they had tried to do they had tried to NR both sides so they put something to wedge the kind of glass door out luckily we had a shutter behind it um, and luckily the door itself goes when it locks it locks into the floor at the bottom we hadn't we didn't have those bits there, so we need to get the padlock. So they actually padlock in and padlock was shut down. Um, luckily, guys, they couldn't get in. They basically thought that we didn't have this main shutter here. So when they tried to pry the door open, they just couldn't get in. Luckily. So I'll take you guys back out again. damage that they caused is just yeah, why yeah, like because yeah, yeah, yeah. it costs money do you know what i'm saying it's like so now we have to get a new door like now we also have to and also we had this that side was tinted and then we had our big captain yao um logo. On, yeah logo on, on the front of the door so now not only do we have to pay for a new door glass door and lock and handle, we also have to pay for the door to get tinted, the whole thing to get tinted again. And, and a new logo to get printed. Yeah, like, like that's so crazy. it's just an expense that um, obviously when you're calculating your expense, it's just another added expense on top of it, which is uh, frustrating for us, but um, we, we have no option in order to get it done so we can't just leave the shop without the door so lucky enough for us they never actually enter. managed to enter the property because i think because they thought it was tinted they might have thought there was nothing behind it yeah but behind our doors is actually shutters mm. so the shutters actually um was in place and at the same time um because the door when you lock the door it goes into the actual ground itself so it's actually hard to take it off it's actually hinges so Seems that as they were trying to take it out of place, they were struggling with it and maybe it might have caused a disturbance. Someone might, might have saw them and they, um, I don't know what they did, but all I know is that the whole door was shattered from the impact of the force. And probably that alone might have scared them when they ran off. Um, but And then the thing, sorry to cut you, but the thing that really disturbed me, like when we got here, we saw the, like, the door was shattered, but it was together. So... We've gone up to it and I think Clint just gently touched it. The whole door, I kid you not, guys. The whole door just fell on the floor, like, and smashed. And I think that was the moment that I was like, I wanna go home. 
So basically the door, we were inside and the door just fell off. Yeah. One person's gonna have to stay here, baby. Or you think it's all right this in the day? So what I'm going to do is, uh, me and Patricia, we're going to go and get the, um, the padlocks. Pad and then we'll come back. So just keep an eye on it. I'm going to put this inside. I want to go home. Like, I, just, I was so vexed. Because at least when we came, the door was shattered, but it was still together. But when it shattered and smashed on the floor, I was just like, it was just this very moment. I was just like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. And, and and like I kind of have trust issues now with like everybody on the strip. I know it's wrong, but I'm kind of like, like was it somebody that is around that has come and said, hey, like you just don't know. So for me, it'll just take me a little bit to get over that, but. Yeah, like... But it's just one of those things, though, shortcomings, um, when you have a business, it's just you have to prepare for all types of scenarios. And this is just one of those scenarios that actually just, you know what I'm saying, us came out of the blue, and it's just a matter of just resolving it. So even though, yes, the initial reaction, when you see something like that, is the emotions takes over, and you're like, oh, my God. But then the logic kicks in, and it's just, we just have to work it out and get the door sorted out. So it's not too much of a problem, we already um, consulted with the person that actually sorts out the door, the original guy that installed it. So he's coming to actually do the necessary repairs and then it's just a matter of getting it retinted again and then putting it back in the logo. But it's just making guys aware that um, when you have a business in Ghana, um, it's good to have um, multiple forms of security um, on the doors. We've got um, multiple amounts of locks on there, so padlocks. Um, which are fairly expensive in terms of padlock, so it will make it difficult for any intruder to come in. It's also advisable to So get hold on, sorry, I just want to cut you there. Sorry. Alice needs to say, one padlock, one padlock is 350 CDs. One padlock, guys, and we need a bag of it. So I just need to say that you can see I'm still very like, I'm in the emotion, and he's logic, I'm yeah. emotion. <laughs> but one padlock, guys, is 350 CDs. Do the math. And if you need about four of them per like side of the shop, yeah, it adds up. It adds up. It yeah, adds go up. on. So it adds up. And so with regards to padlocks, it's also advisable to get um, CCTV as well. Yeah. Um, so CCTV is going up. Um, so we can next time be able to identify the intruder and report him to the actual police itself. Um, but I think the reason why we hadn't got the CCTV as yet because. The shop hadn't finished. That yeah. was like our last yeah. sort of, you know, sprinkle on the top for yeah. the the shop when it starts to open. So sure. I think for us it was like, okay, yeah, we needed CCTV, but we hadn't got to that stage, and we didn't think it was necessary to spend on CCTV when we weren't in action just yet, because that money could go to something else. Correct. Do you know what I mean? No, it makes sense. But yeah. at the same time, it's like when these such scenarios happen or situations occur, it's just a wake up call. Yeah, a wake up call, and it just makes you aware sometimes. You to have your guard, um, even the possibilities when we're running full time, having full time security here, yeah. um, someone that can watch the property or the premises for us on a 24 hour basis. Yeah, so these are all things that you kind of have to consider um, for establishments that you're considering um, that we're building here in Ghana or putting together here in Ghana. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it was, it was for me, it was just like, uh, you know, uh, this is just so annoying, like, how are we going to get around this? But, you know, just like I said, these things happen as part of a business, so it's just a matter of just working it out step by step and then just getting the necessary people to come in to handle the situation and we keep it moving. Yes, so, always have to keep it moving. Yeah, man. You can't sit around and move about it because no. we're here for a reason, we're here for a purpose, right. and there are going to be um, bumps in the road. Yeah, sure. So it's just a matter of how you deal with it and how you persevere. Mm -hmm. Because we've got to persevere. Yep. And, Come too far. And the blessing is the fact that they never managed to take anything. Yeah, they didn't. So anything. yeah, I guess feelings would have been different if they entered and they managed to ransack the whole place. We would have felt a lot more emotional with the fact that God gave us the same grace and He allowed it not to, or allowed it not to enter into the property. So yeah. I'll take a smash door over a whole place that's been ransacked any day. So I'm very thankful for that in a sense. Definitely.
So we just wanted to give you guys a quick update and yes, so we'll show you the us. whole videos in between time of that to yeah. um, the door and what it looks like and how we managed to get repaired. So um, as I said, continue to give us that love and support um, and like, comment and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> yes, guys, please keep that. And thank you for everybody that's commented on our last videos. We see every single one of you and everybody on and off of YouTube. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Cute.